I think about the world that I would like to live in. Sometimes, when I have some time alone, I'll sit there and I think about how I understand and what I see transpiring now in the commercial systems in our country and I think about what we could have done better, what could be done also from now going into the future that could change things. The first thing that always hits me, the first thing that always gets to me is that law, from my own understanding, from my own point of view, should have never been used, should have never been allowed to create different classes of persons when it comes to mater material wealth or equity. You know, when we think about it, we say, well, there are some poor people, there are some middle class people, and there are some rich persons. Well, they do that through the expression of capitalism. They use laws to do this, to allow one to walk over another. And this should have never been allowed. This expression, uh, this act, these actions should have never been allowed to surface within humanity. We know through international law and domestic law that all human beings, we are first born free and secondary, we are all, all, all born equal and we have the right to equality. The minute that you create different classes of persons through material wealth, you destroy and you bring down that expression of equality. Coming off of or building on that premises that all human beings are born free and that we are all equal and we are all entitled to, to equality, that's what we should have built as a foundation. That's what we should have used as a foundation, as a principle to build our country upon. Not the fact that we were going to create a system that would instill rules and regulations and would allow laws to be implemented that would create different classes of person and destroy equality. And therefore, by its destroying equality, you create, if you will, uh, greed. You create desire against one another. You create competition. You create grudge. You create jealousy. All this is uh, a product or a byproduct of the fact that you didn't respect the fundamental right of that human being. You didn't respect the fundamental right of that individual, which is what? Which is equality. But through your capitalist system or through your commercial system that you erected through words on a paper called law, you created inequality. And the byproduct of that is a society that is not functioning properly right now. Saying that we are all equal and that we are all deserve to be treated equal, treated with equality, is pretty easy to say those words. And it's pretty easy to write those words on a piece of paper, on a covenant, in a law, and then to close the book and to go about your business. It's going to take an individual revelation for all of us in our country and in other countries to really realize and grasp what it means to be in a place, in an environment, in a country where equality is in operation and not capitalism. There's a little expression that goes, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. And we all hear that expression within the context of our life as we go through this world. Now, that shouldn't be. Again, you, you see, that's, that principle, that thinking is based upon the fact that in operation in our country is something called capitalism. And this capitalism is directly against equality and it is directly against the expression of equality. And many, many, many years ago, when they set, up, set about to fix the rules, the, the laws, the obligations and the duties that would govern the human beings, the individuals that would be living on this territory, they thought that it was more important to put into existence, to put into practice laws that would allow uh, individual human beings to prosper above other human beings, that this would be a more important principle to build a country on, rather than to build a country upon the fact that we should be equal and equal and equality will bring unity and will unite us. But no, 
they've done just the opposite and they see the byproduct of it the division and the hurt and some people who are hopeless and in despair because they live their life through poverty without any means to escape that poverty and the ones who sit on the top of the food chain through this capitalistic expression of actions here in our country will look down upon them and say hmm you know I did it you should be able to do it you can't do it it's your fault no one else is that's the type of spirit that's being put in the hearts of men in our country that's the type of thinking that is governing the thoughts and the hearts of men and women of our country and it's not our fault it's because we've been programmed like this we've been influenced to think these thoughts and to go after these desires since we've been young 